Hello Aries and welcome back to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium. To give you the messages, I'm actually an intuitive empath, to give you the messages for the next two weeks of June. And we are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. And if Venus is in Aries, then the love portion only. Now we are looking at career, finance, family, friends, whatever comes through this reading, I'm gonna to relate to you and pull the additional messages at the end of the reading. What I'm getting for you right now, Aries, is this very go-getter. It's, it's bordering assertive, bordering aggressive. Like whatever's coming in, you're ready to charge. You're ready to go for it. So let's see how that plays out for you. Some of you, this could be a career. This could actually be a relationship. Like you might have just met somebody. You're like, I'm ready to go, right? So let's see how this plays out in, uh, through the messages, if it's part of the reading or if it's separate message. But what I do is I tap in, I call in all the light workers to the invisible light workers, the archangels and angels to help us uh, look at the main group. So I tap into the main energy of the main group of you, the highest level vibration that's coming through, whether it's positive or negative. And yours is like, watch out, because here I come. Now, for some reason, I am not pulling. That's why. Right there, patience. They're saying that's why no card came out because they want the card of patience for you. So again, we're feeling this uh, energy of, I'm gonna go get it, assertive, bordering aggressive. So with a lack of patience, we can lose our etiquette, we can lose our morals, our principles, because we're so focused on the outcome. So when we focus on the outcome, we have to allow it to kind of come in. We do take action, absolutely, but we don't push it because if we push it, it may not be, it, it, it's supposed to happen 20 hours from now, not right now, so maybe now it throws it off for another three months. So it's having absolute faith and confidence in this that the right time, you're gonna know it. You're just gonna know it. So with all of this um, hyper energy, and I'm an Aries as well. Uh, well, my my uh, my rising sign is Aries. My sun sign is Aquarius. But with all of this uh, go getter kind of energy around you, it's not gonna be easy to be patient. So this is where you need to persevere past it because you may feel tempted to control it to push the timing i'm hearing to push the envelope it's going to throw the timing off so they're saying the timing isn't right but let's go ahead and look a little bit further i'm going to pull a couple cards it has everything to do with your career so we have the ten of pentacles you may have found a brand new career this could be an online career we also have the page of wands so with the Ten of Pentacles, this is our security. This is our foundation representing education, uh, the home we live in, everything feeling really good. You're getting ready to receive a lot coming in. And I think that you planted the seeds. So you're waiting and you may have been waiting a long time and now you want to push it. You might be feeling like I want to, I want to push the a little bit. I want this now. Don't do that. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles comes this sense of grounding, feeling like everything is calm inside of you because it really is calm. And if you were to go outside and ground with Mother Nature, it's going to help you be able to maintain this patience while you're waiting for this to play out. Now, for some of you, this could be an experience of a family dynamic where you're waiting for the, the whole com, uh, coming together is what I'm saying. And it may have something to do with a child returning home. It could be an adult child, but returning home, returning back to the, the roots of you, right? Connecting with your inner child for some of you. 
a lot of you, this isn't really about a career. This is about a new path in your life. Now, on the romance side, you're getting ready to meet somebody new that you may feel is the one and that's going to take a lot of patience right when we meet that person it's like oh my gosh i know it's you i know it's you i know they're coming so we do have again the page of wands <laughs> page of wands can represent leo sagittarius and aries so this is you taking action toward what you want but making sure that it's in balance so you don't forge over it and trample it right because you want this and it is coming for a lot of you i feel you already took the action you took the action in the past and you're contemplating do i take action now nothing's happening it's going to happen it is so what i'm feeling is over the next uh 14 to 20 days so this reading is for two weeks from the time that you are viewing it but again, I'm recording it on the 20th of June. So this is for the last two weeks of June, rolling into July. You're going to know when the timing is right. You did the right thing in the past. And I know you already feel it because you know it's coming. You know it's coming. It's like, this is it. This is it. So it's all about making sure we do not cross the line. This is a line between aggressive and assertive. Okay, assertive is going to bring you what you want. Aggressive is going to push it away. So allowing things to really uh, unfold in their right time. Now this is the card for you, which is um, Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which, uh, let me stop moving and then I can read, right? Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and from your mind. You see, feeling like I need to go, but nothing's happening could very well be that Archangel Uriel is going to help you release something that needs to be gone in order to receive fully. This is the permanent relationship. This is the soul relationship, the partner that you knew was the one. And for some of you, this is a brand new person coming in. So you may have walked away from the past and now you're ready to run into the future. Be patient. Take your time to get to know this individual. With fire is all about the wands and the more wands, the more fiery energy. So baby step, baby step. You're going to do this. It's going to be great. It's going to be really cool. Now, for some of you, you have a brand new opportunity coming in, and it may be at a distance uh, from you, but I don't feel it's out of your state, out of your country, out of your city. I feel that it's maybe two, three hours away from you. So it is a commute where you may even be waiting for somebody to say, can you stay there with them so you can take this job because it's going to lead you to a lot of money be patient okay you're going to be staying in their home they have to make sure is it going to work you know it's like because well it's hard to live with people right so with the angelic realm helping you through this you're really going to get through it it's coming it is on the way so tap your fingers and persevere and push in another direction when it comes to your career so you don't cross that line between assertive and aggressive now when it comes to meeting somebody new same thing you don't want them to run away <laughs> you know if you're feeling really good you don't want them to run away now we have let go of control issues and that card flew out on its own and it completely fits with what we're talking about. There's something that needs to heal in the interim of this uh, time, the timing that's going on. It may not even be you. It might be the other person. There may be some things that need to be taken care of on the other end before this can come into play. Just trust have absolute faith and confidence let go of the control issues and allowing it to unfold naturally because you've got help so if you've got the invisible positive forces helping you into getting what it is you want 
well, my goodness, then then we're just going to have to look at this in a whole different direction of paying, you know, playing the patience game. It's not easy to do. Now, I do feel for some of you, you're getting ready to meet somebody brand new, but it may be two people. One of them I'm seeing is from the past. And again, this is for the larger group of you. So it may not be you um, or it can come from out of the blue. This is somebody that they're telling me that you really felt so deeply connected with this individual and they may have been in control of the relationship or it could have been you. If it was them, that might be why you want to pursue it. But for a lot of you, you knew this was going to happen. It's like, I knew they were going to come back. This is the one. This is the one that I want. This is the one that I feel connected. And there were uh, signs along the way that they felt that way too, and they may be coming in. But for a lot of you, this is two people coming in. The one that you were dealing with in the past may not be who they were in the past. They may be very, very different. I'm pulling extra cards because I don't, and we did just look at 1111. They were sitting for a very long time a very long time, which contributes to why you needed to be patient. They may have been trying to separate their emotions from a scenario. Whatever they were doing, they sat on a rock and they didn't take action. This is somebody who's not walking away from what does not please them. This is somebody going, should I, shouldn't I? I feel so bad, look at them. It's like, I feel so bad. You wanna cry for this card, right? It's like, oh my God, it's so filled with pain. And it was a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting, a lot of internal battling, a lot of struggling with this particular person. Now, or even for some of you, this could have been your work experience. I'm gonna move back and forth because I am pulling additional cards. It may have been a lot of struggle for you to get this job, to get that pentacle planted in there. And we do have the Prince of Pentacles. This took a very long time. So you've been waiting, and if it's love, you've been waiting for that person going, I know they're the one, and they are gonna come in, and they are gonna give you an apology. They're gonna take action finally to come through, but for a lot of you, it's not gonna come right blatantly in your face. Remember, perseverance is gonna help you keep your patience while you're trying not to control everything, because you're gonna be so excited. Whoever you're meeting, whatever this experience is, is very uplifting and it's very exciting because you know it's leading to this. So you've waited a long time. You only have a little bit left to go. Over the next two weeks, you're really gonna come to a place where you're like, okay, I'm gonna learn this. I'm gonna read about this. I'm, gonna, I'm going to go through and get rid of this. You're gonna focus your attention in a whole different direction. And by doing that, before you know it, two weeks is gonna pass and boom, there it is. So I hope this helps you, Aries. Have an amazing next two weeks and thank you for watching. Much love.